this morning. A Hendricks County deputy dies overnight near Plainfield. Our Caitlin Kendall is gathering all the details. She's live now outside of the Marion County Coroner's Office with what happened in this tragedy and what's going to happen next. Caitlin. Lauren, I can tell you that two and a half year Hendricks County Sheriff's Deputy Fred Fissler died in the line of duty early this morning. The department saying that he came in contact with some power lines when responding to a single car crash in that area. I can tell you that the sheriff did say it was a somber day, a sad day indeed for both the department, uh, Deputy Fissler's family and the entire community. I know that Deputy Fissler is a husband. He has two young children, but anytime this type of situation happens, you beg the question of what happens next. And it's hard. It's a tragedy to think about. I'm joined now by FOP President Rick Snyder, who sadly, Rick, you're all too familiar with these types of things. Speak about the significance because Deputy Fissler's body was just escorted from Eskenazi Hospital to here at the coroner's office a full with full honors. Obviously, speak about the importance of something like that. Yeah, it's really the beginning of the tributes that are going to be paid to Deputy Fissler. And uh, it's important for his fellow officers to be able to escort him uh, to his next place. And um, we have uh, IMPD officers who have staged up and they will be with Deputy Fissler. And then the Hendricks County Sheriff's Department will then step in and he will have an officer or deputy with him until he is laid to rest. And obviously I've been around police departments for a while as a law enforcement family myself. Speak about what it means or the honor to make sure that no one ever leaves his side. Yeah, it's just a solemn commitment that we make to one another. Uh, our officers and deputies stand the line for our communities. It's our honor to stand the line for them uh, when they fall in the line of duty. And uh, it's another sad day in central Indiana. And I think this is an opportunity for residents to now uh, wrap their arms around this family, but also around Sheriff Sandler and the Hendricks County Sheriff's Department and, uh, and pay back all the love and support that these deputies are providing to them day in and day out. Rick, you know, the sheriff called him a hero, and indeed a hero is the correct thing to call Deputy Fistler. Speak about, as a member of law enforcement, when you got that phone call this morning, nothing can prepare you for something like this, but speak about those emotions and feelings when you get that phone call of, hey, we have a deputy down. Well, obviously you're heartbroken right out off the bat, and you think about whoever their family is. Uh, I pray. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, then go to work. And so our honor is this. These deputies, police officers from around the state, when they're brought into our community, to our hospitals, uh, we take it very seriously that we're going to be there with them, walk alongside with them, and then um, also help uh, be there for them throughout the process while they're here in our city. And uh, we take a very solemn obligation to get Deputy Fistler back home to his family and we're going to make sure that that happens. I know we're obviously early in the investigation, early in the process. Speak about what's next when you're planning things like this, when you talk about funerals and you talk about, you know, all the things that have to happen. Yeah. What's next? Well, first you wait to see if the family's going to invite us in. We have to remember this is one of the most intimate moments in their lives. Um, and uh, but you have a, a sheriff's department who's hurting and a community that's hurting as well. And so we need to lean upon one another now and uh, start stepping through that and what the wishes of the family uh, are, and then uh, be respectful not only of that, but the fellow deputies. Uh, they really need to be able to lean upon uh, other officers throughout the state, but the residents that they serve. This is a reminder of the risks that our officers face all the time. Uh, it's not only what they do, but what they're willing to do. And tragically, uh, Deputy Fistler gave all tonight. Thank you, Rick. I appreciate that. Obviously, a lot of stuff to still happen here. More information that we're trying to figure out. But as Rick just mentioned, I mean, that family getting the phone call that no law enforcement family ever wants to receive. Our hearts and our prayers go out to Deputy Fistler's wife and his two young children. We are told that uh, Deputy Fistler, again, came in contact with some power lines out at the scene of that crash. That's all that we know as of that point. That crash happened just north of Plainfield. Police are asking you guys to avoid that area if at all possible because there's Still out there with those downed power lines and investigating that area. We'll update you with more information as we receive it. Coming up in just a bit, I will also let you guys hear from the sheriff who said that it is a somber and sad day for the department. We're live downtown this morning. Caitlin Kendall, WRTV.